Hi guys, my name is Ecat. It's time to learn a classic, the riffle shuffle. I'm also going to teach you the one-handed riffle shuffle. Take a look at the performance, grab a deck of cards, and let's get started. Now that you have your deck of cards, you'll be splitting it in two and you'll be using this riffle down motion. To practice this, just hold your cards like so in this hand. See, I'm just bringing my index here to add some tension. And then here, that is the grip. Okay. So from here, I'm going to support this pack, you could actually even support it this way if it's easier, and just practice riffling down. This will make you confident once you split that you're able to do this without two hands, so one-handed. So you have to be able to riffle down like this and riffle so that cards come off individually from your thumb. You riffle them off again, practice holding with both hands so that you can just feel. And again, the grip is your right hand, your middle ring pinky, your index is curled in for tension and your thumb needs to feel each card individually. From the front, the index is curled in as well, just like so, and it's riffled in and you're able to add your thumb, pinch that packet, roll, use your fingers here to help push up, you roll and you grip the same way in your left hand. So you have that grip in both hands. Again, you're here, you're gonna bring the packet much closer to you. Your index is curled. Those three fingers are here for support and you need to be able to riffle down. Okay. Here I'm doing it upwards, it's a little bit harder. It's much easier to do it downwards, but here, if you don't have anything catching them, they will fall. So when you practice, do not hesitate to catch the packet with both of your hands, but you need to achieve this action. Let's recap. You have the deck of cards. You need to split it in two, two packets. You're pivoting downwards. You're actually using the knuckle of your index to pivot. Boom. Riffle, roll that packet over, and you're ready to riffle with both hands. From the front, your right hand comes in, your left hand is ready. It's going to pivot the deck this way. You're riffling down. You get to about the middle, half the pack. You're going to catch, roll this, push upwards with these fingers, these fingers. You will push upwards. You're able to re-grip both hands, so you bring the index here, you bring the packet close, so you can build some tension. You're beveling in, you're putting in some tension so that you can riffle off, okay? And that's the basic thing, the hardest thing to get through is that riffle, because you must have individual cards riffle off the thumb. If you don't have that motion down, go ahead, Keep practicing individually, add some support with the other hand, but you need to get there. So you got there and you start with your right or your left, whichever you're comfortable with, you start releasing and you release and then you release and you basically release all the cards. At first, if you do it too slow, <laughs> you might be stuck. So this is a move that gets knacky at this stage, but trust me, with practice, you're gonna get there. First you go slow, then you'll be able to go fast and riffle off the cards from your thumbs. 
and then you will need to regrip again into the bridge. Bridge in the cards looks like this. All right, you saw that it forms sort of a bridge. By the way, every time I do this, I riffle the other way because I need the deck to be uh, straight again. So once I'm here and I've done that, I'm coming in again, bringing the index now downwards so that my thumbs could pressure both sides into this half circle bridge shape. And then all I have to do is push downwards with my thumbs and release these fingers, the tension here. So see, as I start releasing, basically cards are starting to go down, but what, if I add some pressure with my thumbs downwards, it just continues the motion. Index come here, curl, let go. See, if I let go, it shouldn't all start bridging downwards. It's really the tension added with the thumbs that should bring everything down. I'm being very detailed here, but I'll show you the bridge from this angle. Once you've done that, your index comes, joins the other fingers, you're adding some tension. You can see how much tension I have here. My thumb looks a bit crooked. You're going to open up these fingers and press down. And the fingers that you open up essentially catch the deck. This is where things get complicated. The one-handed riffle shuffle. You're going to need to perform a quick one-handed cut and know the ferro shuffle, which you can learn in one of my tutorials. I'll link in the description below. Now, from the mechanics grip, you're going to go into your grip here that you should be familiar with. All right, cards are not falling. You're going to place your thumb, okay? And your index is going to shift to cut that packet in approximately two. So half the cards are being cut. You're shoving your index inside that space and you're slowly going to let that top packet slide and these three fingers are playing a key role because you're not sliding this way you're really trying to slide at the same kind of parallel to the other packet way so it's all nice and straight because then you're going to shove your index right in between those two packets and this needs to feel very comfortable you're literally like chopping off your index finger with the two packets. And just like learning to um, eat with chopsticks, you're going to need to be able to uh, move in this uh, fashion, okay? And this is mainly with the pinching of this packet between the thumb and the index finger, okay? So this corner is going to be used for the ferro shuffle. And again, you need to basically jam the two packets together um, right now it's not going to work so well because my packets are not very square together so I'm not sure what the result is going to be but let's do this all right so I'm just I'm just basically wiggling the packet into the other one in that corner so see it's not super straight but when I get to this point I remove the pinky so it joins back the other three fingers I also move the middle finger here on top of the bottom packet which is mostly to the right and I'm just curling the index finger inside to be able to bend the packet inwards from the middle like that so like that so I'm actually really just squeezing the two packets and then when I release the index finger the tension gets released as well it is very difficult to perform this slowly. From the front, you are in this grip. The thumb comes in, the index comes here on the corner, top right corner, cuts that in half. Then you shove that index finger and you let the top packet slide on your index finger's nail. You catch here. And so this uh, very fragile position and you're going to use these two corners again practice the chopstick motion and just make sure to align them and squeeze squeeze those corners in 
Once you've done that, you have a bit of a triangle forming. Um, your middle is going to join the top here. Your index is going to curl further. You're going to push with your index down. Your other fingers are going to come in and like squeeze around. And you're going to have to pivot your hand downwards so that you can release the index and let the cards bridge. By the way, I'm doing this face up because the bevel naturally is towards face up cards. If I were to do this face down, I would have to just make sure the bend is in the proper direction. And honestly, after using them, I'm not sure it's going to work so well, oh, but it still works. All right. I prefer doing it face up, all right? <laughs> I have no other excuse. It's not really a, a thing how they're beveled as long as they're, they're fairly straight. But I guess, I don't know, from doing this, it kind of helps me having uh, the cards bent this way versus this way. Are you guys still following? I'm not sure, but <laughs> let's try this again. All right, so I'm going in like that. Here, let me show you the motion where those get just shoved and you will break some corner corners here when you you start doing this see i'm not i wasn't completely aligned see this packet was lower than the other one and it's much harder to do the move so what you want to achieve is fairly equal packets and to be at fairly the same um, level here so that it goes in easy just like that that was good Wow, so hopefully you guys got something out of this tutorial and subscribe for more. I have many more for you and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.